Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about limb imaging. This one specific sequence, which can cause a little bit of trouble going from the old software to the new software. There are some small changes. This is the T1 BIPE sequence, which is essential for limb imaging and also other body regions. So what I'm talking about here is that on the old software, you cut a few slices, you want to say that we scan them for the brush full purposes. On the new software, something happens here in the background, which means that even though you cut some slices, you don't save any scan time at all. So in the beginning, I didn't know what to do until my friend of mine came by my hospital. We had a discussion and he showed me what I can do as a workaround. Today, I want to share with you guys. Stick around and I'll show you. For those who new, my name is back again. I'm an Amarai with Hygrofer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amarai topics, tutorials just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there are some small changes going from the old software to the new software. However, let's go to the scan and I will show you. So we are now currently at the XA platform and we're just going to do a label imaging. We're just going to do a localizer first here. And then we go to the Siemens tree. I'm just going to try to find one T1 by Dixon so I could show you easily. And let's go for Doman. Let's go for Larry 3D. And there's an option of T1 weighted sequences here. As you can see, there are T1 weighted sequence for, for different coils for different purposes. So I'm just going to take a routinely standard one on the top here, which is a T1 wave vibe uh, Dix. So let's drag this over. And then you can see you get a, a notification or an arrow or whatever it is. It says that the voice output is inconsistent. That means that the voice, other voice command here from the Siemens tree is not not correctly my scanner it's consistent so i need to do something with this you can push ok and we go to the sequence and we right click on that one we go to edit properties from here we go to voice commands so there are a few options here you can totally turn it off or you can use automatically but then uh, tailor it to your scanner or your breathful commands or you can just go for manual and if so, also remember that there is 10 second pause here. That means that it will pause 10 seconds before it's ready to start. So by that, it will give a break for the patients if you have many after each other. They will count to 10 seconds or count down to 10 seconds before you are ready to start the sequence. You can have it zero if you want. In this case, we're just going to do a test. So let's open the sequence. So let's say, for instance, this liver is small, so we are uh, able now to cut a few slices because we don't want to cover too much an uh, area of not interest. We only interest at the top and the bottom of the liver. So we are going from 72 slices. So let's, for instance, say we go to 62, 66. Yeah. Remember, we have 15 seconds before I push the enter, before I apply it. So I will push the enter now. And suddenly I get a message. If you go from 72 slices to 66 in this case, you can see something will also happen. Slice over something would then be 33.3 to 45.5. If we can do slices, we know that we will lose SNR. And we will also save scan time. In this case, if the patient cannot hold the breath for 15 seconds, maybe 12 or 13 seconds will be better. So you can cut some few slices. But something happens here. Slice over something will compensate for that. So that means that so even though I cut the slices, in theory, it means that you should save scan time, right? So it's 15 seconds, I push OK. So we are still at 50 seconds, and we are now also still at the same as I know. So the sequence are mainly compensate for that. So there's no purposes in this, okay? You cut the slices because you want to save some scan time. So now we are covering less, and we are the same as I know, same scan time. So there's a work around here. So let's go, I will show you. If you go to resolution, acceleration. So we are choosing here already acceleration mode, hyperinia. There are different options here as well. We have grappa and caparinia. So we choose caparin. The next thing is caparinia mode. This is the secret. So we do a transversal plate. So in the old software, if you do a transversal, you should choose body transversal. If you do a coronal, you should choose um, body coronal. In this case, it's locked. So it makes things very difficult. If you choose free, Everything is now free for you, which means you can control this, which means you are not able to 
reduce the slice over something to the minimum. So let's say 20, 20, 21.2 is the, in this case, the minimum. You can choose that and you can see that you're going from 15 seconds to now 30, save two seconds. Because you will need 72 slices to cover the whole liver. Maybe 66 is enough. You lose a little bit as enough. But probably in this case, you have as a lot more is a lot enough to, to run the sequence. So let's go back to resolution. We go to to body transversion again. You see automatically turn the slice over something up to what we started with 45.5. In this case, 45.5 is because the slice coverages you have and so on. So the number can be a little bit changed if you have different slices. So you can see the minimum is now 45.5. I cannot reduce this at all. So that's the workaround. Go to a uh, Caparinia mode, put it on free, and then you're able to reduce the slices, reduce the scale time. But that's it, guys. I hope this video is valuable for you. Before we close up, I do have a question for you. Do you know about this option? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you get a ding ding whenever new videos of me are coming up. Until next time, take care and I'll catch up with you. Peace out.